and welcome back on the show today. This is still Hello Nigeria. And with me is a wonderful personality. He's an artist, he's a producer. I think he's not even involved in a lot of philanthropic acts too, which is something I totally admire about him right now. And uh, he's also somebody who has a heart for people. I'm talking about no other person than Craze. Hey, Hello, Craze. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Pleasure is mine. Thanks for having me. Oh, yes. Thank you for being here. Yeah. So tell us, what has Praise been up to? Um, Praise has been up to a lot. Um, okay. I've been working on my sophomore album. Mm. Um, I've been performing at gigs. I've been doing a lot of charity, uh, just working in general. No, I heard yeah. about your charity works, and it's really, really nice. Yeah. That we were not having that every day. Yeah, I mean, well, um, I think it's our obligation to the people, you know, like... Um, I look at myself as someone who is who is um, fortunate or blessed, you know. And not everyone happens to be in our positions. And you know, when you're in a position like this, I mean, you just have to just be grateful and just give back, you know. Okay. So, yeah. so now you've been in the music business for about twelve years, if yeah, not a little over that. Yeah, longer. And um, from that time till now, from the time you started yeah. till now, what are the things you you felt were great about the industry then? And what are the things that you actually feel have gotten better between then and now? Um, well, I think there's been um, there's been um, a great change, great progress in the music industry. Um, I mean, we all know, like in Africa, Nigeria is when it comes to the music industry. Nigeria is, Nigeria comes first, and um, I mean, when you look at the Western world, you look at the UK. Mm. Um, the states, Europe in general, um, you see that they're embracing our sound, you know, and this is something that we've always hoped for in a long time. I mean, Fela started the journey, you know, and um, it's good to see that the whole world is actually on our vibe. Okay, yeah. good. So now you've had a couple of great um, songs, yes, hit singles, you know, I remember your Rich and Famous album. Yeah. I remember the wave it made and the yeah. acceptance it got, funny enough, yeah. you know, for your type of music. Now, why do you still choose to stay? Because no matter how commercial you get, yeah. you still want to stay on R&B. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because um, R&B changed my life. I mean, contrary to what a lot of people believe, a lot of people thought that when I did the commercial song, that was when I had commercial success. But actually, R&B gave me my commercial success, which is famous gave me my commercial success. And Rich and Famous is an R&B song, you know. And, uh, well, to, to do the kind of music I do and succeed and thrive in the industry, you need to be really patient. You need to really know what you're doing. You need to be good at it. And, I mean, you need to work hard, basically. And um, for me, I just kept doing what I knew how to do, what I loved doing, and, I mean, it worked for me. So I noticed that you're also one of the few artists in the industry that are very selective about who they feature on songs. Yeah. You, <laughs> no, it's true. I've done yeah. interviews with some other true. artists who would say, true. I would want, I don't want to mention names yeah. anyway, but they would mention, yeah. I want to work with Praise. Yeah. I would want Praise to do a chorus from you on my yeah. song. And then I heard that some of these people actually approached you. And then uh, some, you said yes, yeah. but you know, you had to give it time. Yeah. You, you are picky with who you choose. Yeah, very Why? Picky. Um, um, I like to give good music. I like to give quality music. You know, I want you to listen to my song and not believe it was done in maybe Yaba, Surle. Yeah, because I believe Nigerian music should not be just mediocre, mediocre music. Come on, they are good. No, 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 you know, that's, you know, you're, you're missing the point. Because <laughs> sometimes when people, when you do a certain kind of song, they think you produced it either in the States mm -hmm. or you did it in the UK. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to do that quality of music here. I mean, regardless of the equipment, like, let's just create good music with good content, with good vibe, you know. So, I mean, when it comes to... Picking with who I work with, trust me, I would like to help every upcoming artist. Like on my Twitter, I get artists who say, "Boss, please, I'd like to do a song with you." You know, and um, I they send their links. And to be honest, I do listen to everyone who send me their links. I do check it out, but sometimes I don't think it's what 
the world needs to hear, basically. And I don't want to also discourage people. So sometimes I just keep mute. You know, mm. so that's just it for me. Okay. So now you've done also songs with some international acts. Yeah. I remember yeah. um O'Shea. Yeah, yeah, I, have, you know, um, I, I still remember his entry with his language into the yeah. song, and I'm like, whatever <laughs> praise need to get this guy. Oh, bless him. Uh, you, know, like, <laughs> you know, the thing with me, I went with that, like, even growing up, Awilo was one of my favorites. Like, yeah. yo, like, I love his music. And for me, I, I want to do music, aside the fact that I want to do, do music with people who, I mean, I would love to vibe with or on the same mm. wavelength. I love to do songs with legends. You know, I mean, to be a legend, you need to associate yourself with legends. Take nice. your living. You know, and that's the reason why I, I had a song with um, Diana King. I had a song with Kenny Latimore. Um, I had a song with Obi Trice. And I mean, I just like to associate myself with greatness because uh, that's where I see myself. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Really great one you have there. And so now, what's your, how do you see the future of R&B in Nigeria? Yeah. Um, the future of R&B in Nigeria is bright. You know, I say that because, I mean, I look at myself. Um, I mean, for me to be relevant, I mean, looking at where I came from, I mean, Project Fame, I was on a winner. You know, like, yo, like, but when I look at, my, look at myself, where I am now, yo, like, I mean, there's so much hope. And there are a lot of people who look up to me, and, and people who I come across who want to do kind of music, I do, I tell them, I'm like, first of all, you need to have the kind of patience I have. Because a lot of people are not patient. Like, to survive this industry, you need to be really, really patient, especially when you don't do the, um, the everyday sound. Mm. When your sound is unique, when you have a, a different sound, you need to be really patient. And um, I mean, that's just it. Okay, so I know that Project Fame has produced a lot of people, yeah. great musicians and yeah. singers alike. You know, I remember, I think it was around your time we also had um, Nicholas from Liberia. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Nicholas yeah, yeah. from Liberia. Yeah, so, yeah. and I remember his sound yeah. too. I was watching out for you, yeah. himself, and two other people yeah. at that time, <laughs> as young as I was. <laughs> so, but, but but now I really want to know what was it like before you got signed into Extreme? Now, because I I want everybody to know that yeah. it's not just about the praise that we see today. Yeah. There were struggles. Yeah, definitely. What there were those there struggles? Were lots of struggles. There are times where um, I told my parents I was going to stay the weekend at my friend's house. And me and my friend were already planned to go a drive, I'll go a car. We drove from Kaduna to Lagos. They didn't know. My parents thought I was in Kaduna. Wow. Like, we came in search of a record deal with, and um, <laughs> I never called the name of the record label. Um, it was very, very, then it was like the number one record label in Nigeria. It was respected in Africa because wow. most of their acts were on Channel O, which was like number one channel that, that, that year. And I mean, yo, my struggle is plenty though. I mean, we're like, <laughs> I, when, when I think about it, we like, where to start from, it's, I have a story though. Like my journey is, is, is a lot. I've worked as um, a studio rat. Um, I produce songs for people. I made money by the end of the month. Okay, I don't get paid. And sometimes I just get, the only time I get my, 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 where I get money from is maybe when I produce for an artist. And then my producer fee was 1,200 now, you know, sometimes 500 now. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I produce songs for people for 500 now. Okay, yeah. you will continue this tale <laughs> of your life when we come back. Let's take a look at Praise's song, If I Fall. Yeah. Enjoy that and we'll be right back. Oh, praise, praise. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that you, you're very picky about your women in your videos. Always yeah, very sensual, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I, like, I like my African women. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nice one. <laughs> so when, when, when was that recorded? Um, this was 2000. Uh, where or when? When? Um, I think 2014. Yeah. Okay. Because it was on the Rich and Famous album. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Because I wanted album. to be sure. Yeah, it, it sounded album. similar to some other songs, so that's why I had yeah. to ask It was the produced question. by Gospel on the Beat. Oh, no. Nice. Yeah, we, we made, I wrote, funny enough, I wrote that song when I was in the shower. Like, <laughs> yeah, like it came, like I had soap, I had soap all over my body. I ran out, took my phone, recorded the voice note, Aww. went back. I was in South Africa then, came, continued shower. When I got back to Nigeria, I hit up Gospel. I was like, yo, bro, like, there's this song we need to record. Yo, we, it took us, it took us two hours to look for the sound we wanted, just the drums. Okay. Like, 
So we took our time to really make this song, you know. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, good. So now, moving from that, what, where do you get your inspiration from? You just mentioned getting, you know, um, your inspiration while in the shower for yeah. the song, If I Fall. Yeah. And we had an artist here who said yesterday that his best thinking place was the toilet. Yeah. And I went like... It happens. Oh, really? <laughs> and he said yes. And he was, he was very convinced. So for you, is there a place you have to be to get inspiration for a song? Um, or are there things you need to do? It's just for me. It, it's 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 random. It just hits me sometimes. Like sometimes I could just be, I could just be chilling and melody comes. You know, for me, if, most of the times it comes with melody before the words. Mm. You know, and at times I might just be in the studio and I'm just playing with my keys, and I'm like, oh, like this sounds nice. Okay, then I know. That penning down words. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. So, um, what's your position with Extreme Music now? Are you still with them? Yeah, um, I'm on my um, nine years with Extreme Music. Um, about to release my next album, and yeah, it's it's it's, it's been a good relationship. Mm. Yeah. Because I remember that you were signed um, shortly at the time when Etc was leaving. Um, no, I never met Etc. Okay. I wasn't signed. I think he left before I came. Before you came. Um, yeah. It was Overdose who was there. Okay, you yeah. still met Overdose yeah, at I the time. Overdose, yeah. But I'm pretty sure you didn't meet Bantu and Neka. No, no, no. no okay, no, no, no. okay. <laughs> so, so there's a new. <laughs> no, because I, I have been listening, so I love yeah. Bantu's music. Yeah, no, but when Bantu's, he used to do, yeah. you know, his abroad gigs, and yeah. but as a kid anyway, so I would laugh because it was comical. Yeah. And then him getting signed to Extreme, yeah. and then I listened to Neka and her sound. Those are it was great marvelous. So, yes. So there's, there's a new act on a stream right now, yeah. from what we hear. Yeah, um, there's um, Simi, there is Dark Ball. Okay. Yeah, um, Dark Ball um, was on Project Fame, and um, I got him into Extreme. Nice. Yeah. Looking out for a brother. I That's mean, I, I mean, I know how the journey is, you know, coming from a, a TV show. The expectations are really high, you know, and um, I know what it felt like when I came out from Project Fame. The struggle mm -hmm. was real. You know, like things, there are a lot of things you, you want to do and you can't do. So, I mean, I wish I could help each and every one of them, but you know, you have to look at who is really hungry for it. Okay. You know, and I mean, Dark Ball is really, really hungry. I won't say the others weren't hungry, they're hungry, but they're hungry for it. But he was just, his hunger was aggressive. Okay. Yeah. So, we're still on the music, but I just want to make a bit of a digression. Yeah. I think sometime last year you had an issue with yeah. the SAS guys. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean every 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 <laughs> <laughs> And it was all, and I saw your yeah. video where you were saying yes, yeah. you know, the police force and the SAS uh, yeah. um, force, they actually feel there's a lot of bad eggs, but they're still yeah. good people. I remember that yeah. line. You said, yeah, I said that I said they're that still a few good um, men. Yeah, like um um what's his name on Instagram? Oh my god, I can't I can't remember. I can't remember his name. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, trust me, yeah, I'm okay. not, there's yeah, still a few good, there's still a few good men. But I mean, it's just unfortunate, like, the, the ones we come across most of the times are not the good ones, okay. you know? Yeah. And it's not just you, I know Gideon Nukuki and you know, had like every, similar... I, I, every celebrity, like, you know, like, and I think it's good for we celebrities to actually experience these things, because sometimes maybe we just tend to not understand or get out of touch with what's happening in the streets, you know? Like, people go through this every day. Like I was telling someone, I was like, imagine someone who went for a job interview and he didn't get the in job interview, and you're going home, and you, you just get stopped by <laughs> so, And you're already, you're already, you're, you're already fuming, you're, you're unhappy. And the next thing, they're bundling you to another place. That, <laughs> so I mean, it's just, it's just crazy, you know, it's just crazy. Okay, now, from that, we have, you just said, um, it's good that celebrities are having that experience yeah. so that they will know that, they'll know exactly what it feels like yeah. to be in those shoes. Yeah. Now, talking about conscious music and yeah. mainstream music, yeah. why do we have very few people doing conscious music? Because um, um, I think a lot of artists are looking for the fast way. Um, everyone believes that when you do the club music first, that's what makes people get attracted to you. Sometimes it's not, it's not always that way, you know? And um, 
other times, I feel like some people don't even want to be reminded about their struggle. <laughs> mm. So they rather just want to listen to something that would just take their mind away from their problems. You know, so I mean, it's a two-way thing. Mm. It's a two-way thing. But I mean, there are people who still want to be encouraged, want to be told that, I mean, tomorrow is going to be like, I mean, tomorrow is going to be good, like regardless of what you're going through, you know. Um, my next single is called Hustle. You know, and uh, nice. yeah, it's 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 conscious music. You know, sometimes you need to take a break from um, love songs. You need to take a break from dancing songs. I mean, like it talks about the situation, the, the situation, the situation in Nigeria. You know, like I don't know, I don't know if I should say it now. I should just wait till the album drop, uh, <laughs> till the single drops. But basically, it just talks about what's going on in the country. And I'm just trying to let people know that just keep doing what you're doing and one day the hustle will pay. Okay. Yeah. Now you are a huge brand, not just one that is being celebrated. Of course, yeah. that's why you're called a celebrity. Now, what do you think about the lifestyle of uh, celebs? Now, yeah. we of course, remember the story of Richard Nadi, who is yeah. still making trends, yeah. the owner of the Escape, yeah. Escape yeah. Club. Yeah. And he I'm mentioned... A friend, I'm a friend of Richard and I know actually know of mm. everything, like... I, I know, I know of it. Good. I mean, we'll talk about it, you know. Um, it's just unfortunate that um, some celebrities like to leave um, the, the fast life. They like to leave, they want to show the lifestyle, you know. And so it has its disadvantages. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the club, people see you, yeah, maybe they bring, like, 12 bottles to, to your table, and everyone is like, ah, he has 12 bottles. And I mean, you, you're feeling good, like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> your table is lit. But I mean, are you really paying for the drinks? Mm. Like, I tell, my, I tell my friends, I'm like, yo, like, me, if I'm not ready to ball, I stay at home. Like, my home is very comfortable. Like, I have everything I want, games, the studio, I want to have, like, wine, I just chill, like, I want to grill, I have everything, you know. But I just think people do too much. And, I mean, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. And um, he, I think friends just took advantage okay. of being, being um, of, they took advantage of his friendship. And um, it's just sad to see that your own people would do that to you, you know. But I'm glad he's recovering, he's recovering um the debt has been owed to him. Though. Okay, thank yeah. God for that. Now tell me, what are your recent projects? Yeah, my recent projects? Um, I'm working on my... Um, okay, well, before I get to that, I dropped... Last year, February, I dropped a body of work called Two Minutes, the EP. Um, Two Minutes, the EP, is a body of work that talks about different facets of love. It talks about um, separation, divorce, which a lot of people try to shy away from. Um, talks about... Um, Weddings talks about um, friends with benefits. Talks about sensuality. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, talks. I'm, I, I actually decided to just wow. say I say it as it is, you know. And um, I'm actually happy because um, one of the songs um, won best R and B for at the Afrima Awards, and I, I was really really excited. So yeah, that's one of my projects, and I'm working on my next album, which is called the King Album. It's okay. called yeah and um, should be out sometime in June. Okay, well, yeah. you've heard it from Praise. He's working on a new album. I am yeah. excited about it, and yeah. I hope you, I'm that, you are. <laughs> <laughs> that you are. Too. So tell us, how can people follow you um, on social media? Yeah, social media. My Instagram is official Praise, um, Twitter Praise8, um, Facebook, facebook.com slash Praise8, Snapchat official Praise, and you get to know what's new with me, what I'm working on. Most times, um, you get to see the first hand of everything I'm doing, so yeah. Okay, so thank you so thank you very much, Praise, for being thank here. You. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.